I had my first creme brulee at Le Cirque restaurant when it was still in the Mayfair Hotel. And that was about, oh, at least 25 years ago. Really delicious, really creamy with a, with a crunchy top of burnt sugar. I'm gonna show you how to make a creme brulee that's very easy and very delicious. Now for the custard, four cups of heavy cream. And I'm using an organically prepared cream. This is from Ronnie Brook Farm. It's just really rich and gorgeous. And I, I'm always looking for the local dairy. So here, four cups of heavy cream, uh, one vanilla bean split, and then you slit it down with the tip of a knife and you press very hard along the cut to release those millions and millions of little vanilla bean seeds. And then put the entire vanilla bean right in the cream. That will infuse nicely. And to the cream, add 3 quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. This is a 3 quarter cup measure. I love this one. So here, bring this to a almost boil, just so little bubbles form all over the surface. And we need seven egg yolks. And the fresher, the better. There. So this will get mixed up a little bit, waiting for the warm cream. And while the cream is heating, I'll show you, I love these oval creme brulees. These are really beautiful. These hold seven ounces of custard, which is a very generous but not overpowering size. And I've placed six of them in a shallow pan because we're going to put a little bit of boiling water and make a bain-marie, a hot water bath for uh, the custards. Now watch your cream carefully. You do not want it to boil over. It's just about ready. What we're going to do now is temper the egg yolks with the boiling cream. So we want just a little bit of cream dropped into the egg yolks. Stir while you're adding. You don't want to curdle the egg yolks. And they will curdle if you add too much too soon. Mm, looks very nice. And there's the vanilla bean. Mm. It smells so rich. And now just strain the custard into a pouring cup. We don't want to waste any of those vanilla bean seeds. They are heavier than the mixture, so they sink to the bottom. You just want to make sure they get into the custard. Try to find nice, plump, rich vanilla beans. Um, the Madagascar ones are excellent. Press the vanilla bean. So you would not want any of this in your custard. It's a little rough here. And that's why you strain. I'm gonna try to pour, see if I can do it without spilling. This should make exactly six custards, six creme brulees. And we're gonna put this right into the oven and pour the boiling water so it comes about halfway up the mold. So that simulates a nice steam bath for the custards. It helps cook the custards evenly, keeps them tender. Okay. 40 minutes, 300 degrees, preheated oven, set your timer. Now, after 40 minutes, you can see that the custard is set. Oops, hot. It shakes just a little bit, but it is not wet. Remove each of the ramekins to a rack. They look so great. I love the color. And now these have to be chilled, oh, at least four hours or overnight. And now for the bruleing, the fun part, uh, which means to burn sugar on top of the creme brulee. Just use plain granulated sugar and put a thin but complete coating over the top. The sugar gets applied right before you're gonna to torch it. 
Otherwise, it might start to melt into the custard itself. Turn on your torch. And then just start melting the sugar and caramelizing it at the same time. And these little torches are available at places like the Home Depot, the hardware stores. This will make a beautiful, glistening, crunchy topping. And that's quite a spectacular creme brulee. Now listen to this. This is what you want to hear. Hear that? That's the crunch. And then when you dig in through that crust, savor it and pick up a little bit of the custard at the same time. Pretty fab. Mm. Everybody will gobble up their creme brulee.